Okay, I thought we'd talk a little bit about this uh, laser engraver cutter. This is the Vigotech VGL7X 20 watt laser engraver, which means you've got about 7 watts of laser cutting power. And I kind of wanted to go over some of the reasons why I got this one over all the others that are out there and why I think it might be better. <clears throat> the main first reason the extra power, the probably 7 watts of lasing power, but more important than that, this one can connect by Wi-Fi, it can connect by USB cable, and it can burn unconnected from an SD card, which the mini SD card plugs in right here. This is the Wi-Fi receiver. So totally standalone, which is was very important to me. I, I hate things that have to be tethered to the computer the computer goes down or goes to sleep or if you're doing Wi-Fi and you get a reception problem that's not good when you're dealing with lasers if they get a communication problem it can lock up and stop with the laser on and in my case um, burning designs on the tile for my wife so it's not a problem no laser is going to burn through the tile but if you were doing paper or wood or cardboard or something and the laser just happened to stop doing what it was doing and you weren't watching it at that moment that wouldn't be good so I like going directly off the SD card just for reliability and not being tethered to a computer. Now the uh, one of the drawbacks though to using the SD card, well it isn't a drawback now but it was initially, is they tell you the only way you can program the SD card is to be connected by Wi-Fi and then with their software you hit uh, save and it saves it onto this card and you're going, well, why can't I just save the file on my computer and transfer it onto the card? Didn't work. And uh, the, there's an easy workaround for it that, that they don't tell you, but it's real simple. This system works in that there's going to be only one file on the card at a time, and that file is always going to have to have the same name. SD understroke default dot NC. So if you name your file that, regardless of what the computer named it, then it'll uh, it'll work and burn on here. So there's an easy workaround if you don't have Wi-Fi for programming the SD card. Uh, and all these cantilever type design things, whether we're talking 3D printers or laser cutters, your wheel slop is real important. And um, since these things come all assembled, and all you basically do is put this this on the gantry and tighten down a couple of screws here and two screws here, and you're you're done. It takes like five minutes to put this thing together. But there was a lot of slop in it. So you've got these Vive Groove wheels and uh, when it came from the factory a lot of rock slopped this way and then on the laser you have three wheels here there was a lot of slop there. So you want to make sure that you loosen all of those up, pinch the tires in as tight as you can with your hands and then screw everything back together. You want everything to move totally freely without binding but you don't want any slop. If there's any slop, then pretty much count on your project looking like crap in the end. So, let's see. We talked about the SD card. We talked about lock up and power out as possible. We talked about programming the card. We talked about the wheels. I think we've covered most of the reasons why I bought this. It did the higher power. And when I bought it, it was only $174. Right now, though, let me swing over this way. Right now, it appears to be. Hey, cooperate with me, camera. Appears to be $194.99 for what they call the 20 watt version. Up on Banggood. Maybe you could find it somewhere else for less. But anyway, I wanted that extra power because I knew once I was done doing all of the uh, ceramic. Uh, engraving for the wife on white tiles and you can find lots of videos on YouTube about how to do that basically you paint the white tile with white paint then you just go into engraving mode and when the uh, the paint is exploded by the laser and it's hot enough it it uh, joins that into the top coat on the tile the glazing and it becomes permanent so you can't even scrape it off at that point but I knew I'd, want, I'd be using this for other parts. I'd be cutting wood and cutting plastic and doing things like that down in the end. And I, needed, I wanted that extra power for that. 
when you uh, do get it, you'll need to go to their their website, which is right here. And in this particular case, the VGLX7X Wi-Fi is the version of the works that you want to download. And that gets you this program that looks like this. And from this program, you don't have to buy or do anything else. <clears throat> Your connect buttons here. If you have Wi-Fi, you can hit connect and they give you the Wi-Fi number to put in, which is just uh, 1 through 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or if you're connected by USB, it'll connect you. Once you're in there, you can open an image that you might have on your computer. They do supply a bunch of uh, images in gallery that get you started just for playing around, which is very handy. Then over here you have all your controls, deciding whether you want to be in line mode, binary, or line mode gray, or whether you want to be point mode, binary, or gray. Then you have your speed, your laser power, how many dots per millimeter. See, if you're in line mode, it's going to be lines per millimeter. If you're in dot mode, it's going to be dots per millimeter. And if you're in uh, point mode binary, then you actually can adjust the burn time per point as well to do all that. Once you've got an image up there and everything, then down here is where you'd uh, tell it to accept that. And then you hit this button and it, it'll scan the outline in a low level so that you can line your piece up. And if you're happy with it, you can just go right into burn mode from there. It's uh, real simple to use. Uh, I think I'll, get, I'll show you some examples. Here we go. This is a white tile and I was just using some of their uh, line art that they had and I was learning. I was trying different things like I wanted to be in the line by mode versus uh, being in point, point mode and whether I'm in grayscale mode and and also using different paints. So this is the white paint and these are etched into it. You can take a paint scraper to it and that image isn't coming off. Just a cheap tile. You were the same images with different power settings in, in gray mode. And then this one, I decided I'd try red primer as my paint instead of white to see what happened. And it gives it a nice, uh, a nice tint in the end. When you're all done, of course, you take lacquer thinner and you wash all the paint off the surface, whether it's red or white or whatever. And all that's left is what's etched and engraved into the uh, top coat. So I did a lot of different uh, tests, learning about settings and power levels, all of that. And in the end, I took some uh, artwork that my uh, granddaughter did. Just took a picture of it with my camera, turned it into black and white, and threw it in the program, and burned it to a tile. Turned out really well. Anyway, it seems to be... Uh, a good unit. It's really easy to use the software program that comes with it. It even has a uh, low power turn laser on mode for focusing. You know, it's one of the things you have to do with all these type of uh, devices. You do have to focus them or they're not going to work. Your focusing is down here and you need a real low level so that you can look at the dot of course, you can wear your safety glasses if you want, but if, if it's a low enough level, it's less than a laser pointer, you know. And you just keep adjusting the uh, the knob, turning it one way or the other, till you can get the smallest, crispest looking little dot that you can, so that you know you can get a good burn out of it. But that's it. I just wanted to do a quick uh, little preview and helpful information about the... Uh, Vigo Tech VG L7X 20 watt. So if that's the kind of thing interests you, you might want to get up there and get it because it's still under 200 bucks. And for seven watts of lasing power and being able to burn from an SD card and not have to be tethered, to me that's well worth it. So it was a good uh, a good purchase. I don't regret it.